Okay. Hello, folks. Um, we have a bit of a breakdown there with communication. So I hope it's, I'm just checking this other Facebook page just to see if it's coming up here. Um, so, yeah, so um, let's see if anyone can see or hear me. Uh, on page here a minute, let's just check this out. Um, it says it's going. And I'm just looking to see if I can find, everything's a bit slow here today. So let's just see what's coming up. Don't panic, as they say, don't panic. And uh, we've got something here. Um, so I'm just checking it's all working. Communication doesn't seem great. Uh, oh, let's have a look here. Can you hear me and can you see me? That's what I'm trying to see. I've got something on here, but it seems to be just, I'm not sure if it's actually working. Oh, here we go. It's very slow, I think. So, let's have a look. Yes, we do it have something. Very slow, I think. Um, just bear with me here. We're just gonna turn so, this back. And hopefully we'll get this sorted in a minute. Um, so yeah, here we go. I can see we've got some comments. So let's have a look here. Hi, Mr. G, Nikki West, and Amanda, and uh, yeah, Hayley, Carol. Hi, Carol. So uh, hopefully you can hear me. And uh, went into a bit of a panic there because we turned it all on and suddenly it just froze and I had to turn everything off. So um, Hayley, yeah, uh, Teresa, uh, Adriana, um, nice to see you all, welcome. Uh, something I have to get more involved in is doing these, these video vlogs um, and, and, and talking, I guess, on, in, you know, in this current situation. So I, I guess today, as you all know, I, I do a daily card. And, um, and I'll be doing a daily card from uh, my deck, uh, the, the Spirit Oracle deck. And, you know, I guess in a way, even though I put these meanings out to everyone every day, they kind of, they, they trigger things in myself. Even though I've painted these pictures and, and the pictures have meanings, I guess every morning they provoke me uh, and they do something. And some of you would, will know, and some of you may not, but today's card was the card of trust. And, you know, actually, this morning, when I actually, I started to think about trust and, and what it actually represents. Um, so it's quite an interesting thing. So I, I kind of want to get involved in that a little bit. And maybe Ruth and uh, uh, Alison, nice to have you on board. And um, I guess, but let's just start from the beginning of my day. Uh, yeah, I, I've kind of been helping my brother a little bit with some building work. And, and as you know, it's kind of, it's part of my past. It's my trade uh, as a general builder. So there's been some little bits of building work coming in. Uh, and I guess we're all learning to adapt within this current situation. And, and as a lot of you will know that, you know, uh, before March last year, uh, I would be on the road a lot, traveling to different events and shows and anything from doing psychic readings and showing my art to teaching um, psychic and intuitive art. But it, it's all come to a standstill, like for all of us. And um, Neil, hi Neil, thank you mate for tuning in. And John and Karen, thank you all for, for looking in and um, uh, watching and um, so yeah for like for a lot of us life's changed so I've had to pick up the tools a little bit which I, I quite enjoy actually and uh, so my my morning started off with actually going to look at a property for someone this morning and um, and just giving some advice and helpful tips on that and um, so yeah that was the kind of start of the day uh, and then I had to shift a load of wood uh, I thought I had enough wood in, uh, but with this cold snap, I've kind of gone through so much of the wood pile. So I, I come back to this great big pile of wood. So it was a case of getting the wheelbarrow out and actually shifting it. And um, so, yeah, and, and getting things kind of like set up for today's blog. 
as most of you are aware I'm a, I'm a keen motorcyclist and it's kind of like I want to do more with that actually and uh, Muriel hi Muriel mm, love you Muriel nice to see you here and Julie and, uh, and Karen thank you for tuning in and um, so yeah my, my motorcycle is it's a great therapy for me and um, it's a good tonic and, and it's something I love to do with my brothers uh, as we kind of take off and travel around. So I, I kind of want to bring in the motorcycle with some of my, my journey. And actually, I want to promote more of my life in a way. Um, I, you know, a lot of people see me as the psychic artist. And, you know, the, the, uh, but it's kind of like this other side of Patrick. And so I, I kind of want to take people on a bit of a journey uh, with me in the bike. And also painting. It's... Which has kind of led me into the beginnings of a of a YouTube channel, and what that means as we're all embracing technology, and I kind of had to think of a bit of a name for the YouTube channel. So it's kind of like um, after kind of getting quite confused with it all, it's it's kind of like um, it doesn't actually go into this name yet because I'm trying to get more followers. But it's kind of like to paint and seek. It's like me painting my pictures and. And, 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 and the seek is the adventure of life in a way and taking us away on those, those elements of journeys, whether they're in the UK. And um, to the past, a lot of my, my journey and my adventures took me outside the UK, but I don't know when that will start again. But anyway, we turn a daily card uh, and, and the thought and what that provokes and brings in Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Um, what's life like up in Scotland? Sorry we missed you on our ventures to Scotland this year. Sally. Hello Sally. Lots of love to you Sally. Big hugs as well. Um, yeah, big hugs to you. And um, so yeah, the cards provoke. And today's card was trust. Uh, and what that actually meant. I'll, I'll just kind of show you there. I hope it's in focus. Can you see the card of trust there kind of? Um, it's, well, it's a painting that came about many, many years ago now. And, and I guess if I give you a little bit of background of the painting, the, the, the painting actually represents a shaman, a, a Native American shaman. And, and, and the shaman is actually, he's not dressed in his traditional clothes. I, I, I guess to some extent he's dressed more in the the, the white man's clothes, if I can put it that way, with the greatest respect. But part of the teachings from this image was that how we adapt. And, and, and sometimes, you know, we, we take on, we, we choose to adapt, we choose to change. Um, but sometimes life dictates that change and it's how we adapt to it. You know, and, and change is not an easy thing. You know, change is a beautiful thing when it's, it's full of the wishes and the desires. Um, but sometimes change is, is very, it hurts. And, and it's challenging and it's, it's demanding and it's stressful. And it creates all things from anxiety to fear of the unknown. Uh, and it all has an effect. So the essence of this card is about learning to, and how much energy we use on adapting. I, I have a, a wee bit of Irish in me. I have Romany on my mum's side, and I have Irish on my dad's side. And, 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 and I guess somewhere in the makings of, there's this little bit of fight in me that makes me, a Patrick wants to go that way in life. And life says, Patrick, you're not going that way. We're going to change it today. Uh, and, and I don't want life to change my pathway. So I, I, to my past, I would put up a lot of fight, I guess, with direction. And it's kind of like so, but sometimes it's really good to learn to go with the flow. Uh, and, and to use our energy within the flow that life is taking us. Because, you know, it's maybe it is the right way. Maybe the, the path, even though as me as a person and, and where I'm going, it may not be my desired choice, but actually maybe it is just the right way. So we can use energy up in fighting a flow or we can use our energy within the flow of life. So this native um, had, to, had to work with changes, um, but he didn't fight those changes. 
he took his essence of his ancestors, the essence of who he was, and he went with the flow of life. And he carried those values or those teachings forward within the flow that presented itself to him. Um, it does represent stress within the essence of the card. It does represent dealing with stress. Uh, and overcoming that the mind the mind how we complicate thought you know overthinking that element of that element of, of overthinking i'm working with that dawn hello dawn lovely dawn and nikki avon and pat pat twig bless you all for tuning in because you never know it's kind of like I, I guess in some ways it's this is quite an unusual thing to do the people that know me may see me stand up in front of people and and it's kind of like um but it's not it's not it's not really me i have to kind of encourage myself forwards to do those things and coming into this element i'm working with technology uh which i i kind of i love gadgets i mean i i, I don't know if it's just um yeah anyway i love gadgets but whether not to get into the male the female thing but i love gadgets and um but you know getting one's head around technology and working with that is an interesting one um and trying to bring and bring those elements through and I guess the years of giving teachings you know every every time I give a personal reading for someone I, I feel there's little bits for me and the cards again are little bits for me so the card of trust is very much about trusting adapting to change not to overthink you know how much thought do we do we put in you know we have to deal with the challenges and we have to have oh, another wonderful thing is ideas it's like a i guess for me and my makeup it's having a plan b uh, plan a plan b plan c working through ideas um but this this particular spirit this particular gentleman this particular native his essence was how do we adapt to change and bring those changes in it brings the wolf in there's lots of things because it carries the, the wishbone for wishes it carries the the, the rabbit's paw for wishes it, it's like the shell to listen to the sh it's lots of things that we learn as, as children as well within the picture uh, to make a wish to you know to have a dream and to bring those elements through um the there is a, a white dove for purity within the picture there is a wolf um the, the card can be a card of caution as well this particular card um, so it carries lots of meanings within its, its energy or the or the image that comes in but going back to the element of trust and i thought about this this morning what does it actually mean to me uh to trust hello sandra and cheryl and helen i keep forgetting to look at the screen and um because I, I guess my i kind of get on this track of just talking and, and unfolding my feelings and um but what does trust mean yes it's kind of like I, I guess one of the big things with trust is you know to trust oneself and and, and to work with that because i you know i i do relate trust to having a confidence of who we are i i, I guess you know through our our, our lives as as being born into the world and then we grow up within a family and then we venture outside of that family and we we have our friends and then we have relationships sometimes uh, the, the trust of oneself can go through lots of challenges and difficulties and you know another word is you know the the, the you know there's a saying the biggest battle we have is the one with ourselves and, and it's such a shame in a way because you know the of oneself or the trust of oneself is 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 such a, a wonderful thing to have hello andy long time no see mate and sylvia uh, fidelma hello there jane hartley hiya thank you guys for tuning in it's um yeah thanks a lot um but this trust thing of, of who we are you know to trust me takes me outside my comfort zone uh, and, and it's such a viable thing to be able to do, you know, to, because, you know, we, we can restrict ourselves. We, you know, to the lack of trust of self, oh, my goodness me, can't it hold, it can hold us back so much. You know, I, I can relate the word from trust to confidence because it kind of, 
there's lots of things, there's, there's not even ingredients to every word, and, and every word is made up of, of facets of different things. But, you know, to trust who I am, um, to come outside the comfort zone, to take me forwards in life. You know, trust can also, you know, to trust me, I have to connect to me. And that is something that is very, very, because again, uh, and I do talk of this, I, I see you or I see me as not just the physical, but I, there's something else within us. And, and I do relate it to the, the lower self and the higher self. I, Liz, uh, thank you. Uh, and Kim, I, Kim, uh, nice to see you there. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, so this higher self and lower self of, your, of oneself, uh, and the aim is within life is to try to find this element of balance. Interesting word balance, because gosh, we're all striving towards balance, and it's something that is forever shifting, forever moving. And it brings elements in. So, you know, the, the, the trust in yourself, the trust to make a decision, this, this element of undertaking those aspects and working with that, you know, to, to trust you is to follow you, your instincts, your intuition, to follow that. The thing is, we, it, it kind of is quite a... We all wish for a certain direction in life. Uh, and when that direction in life is sweet, it's so easy. Gosh, isn't it so easy? But, you know, when that, that direction gets turned upside down or it prevents a number of challenges, it's a different story. But that trust element of you, that, that trust in taking yourself forwards. So when we trust in ourselves, it is an empowering thing to have and to do. I mean, the other thing is that, you know, we give our trust to other people. And trust in a way, gosh, it's, it's, it's so valuable. It, it carries, you know, when we actually think about to trust someone, it's when someone trusts me, it's an honour. It, it's, it's something that is so valuable where someone actually puts that trust in one. And, and it's something we, we cannot do because I guess with life, and when we live life, you know, to, to some extent, whether it's a small measure or whether it's a bigger one, there comes a point where we, we, have, to, we, we have to trust. And, and sometimes in life, when we live our, our, our daily lives, a lot of the trust elements are quite small. They, they, they don't really, but there's times when we have to give over a lot of trust. Uh, and so we bestow that trust with someone. Uh, and it's quite an interesting thing. Uh, and, you know, I, I try to be quite open with people. I try to be quite open when I talk about myself. And, uh, and you know, in my, in my past, Patrick's past, I, I don't, I don't feel that when my, my childhood growing up that I, I grew up with confidence in the elements of having a confident Patrick. I, I don't, uh, the truth of it is, it, it led me into, in, into a spiritual way of life which, which helped me to trust me more and to connect to me more and bring those aspects in. And it's kind of like, um, uh, but one week, so one part is the trust of me, but the other part is the trust of someone else. And, and, and I guess in a way, it's quite an interesting thing. Um, so for my life, I, I guess there came, there, there came up, you know, I, I try to be honest and open with people. Uh, and I guess there was a time in my life where I was in a situation and where I kind of, it kind of came about that I was asked to go and talk to someone on a personal basis. And so I, I guess one could say that I was giving an element of, um, um, what's the word, it's counselling. And um, even though I, I tried to work with me, and one of the interesting things that came up was that about, about trust, uh, and, and I guess for myself, it's kind of um, in a way where if I give someone my word, this is something I've kind of grew up with, um, and 
I don't know where it came from. It must have come from someone. Um, it, I, I, I can't say how it just came from me. But to, to give what's a, a word of. You know, it's, it's a bit like, I suppose, we could say the gentleman's handshake. It, it's where... And, and I guess I've always come through life in this way that, you know, e even if I was building a house for someone uh, and, and the project kind of went sour, if my word was that I would, f that I would finish this project, um, unless, of, of course, I got kicked off the site, it wasn't possible. But from my point of view, I would finish that project. Then I'd make a decision whether I would ever go back or not go back. But my, my, my word was that I would finish it. And, um, but what came up in this, this counselling session was that when someone gives a word or a trust element of one day, it may not be the same the following day. So if someone said to me, I will do this today, and tomorrow they decided not to, then that is, that is my issue and not theirs. And I found this so intriguing. I, I kind of like, in a way, thought, my goodness me, what an, in what an interesting statement that is. And then I thought, how does that work in the world? Because if I said something to someone today, just say I undertook to build a house, and the house that I was building, uh, yes, it was all there to do, and I was going to turn up in two weeks' time to build the house, and I, 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 was, I was given, maybe I was given £20,000 to go and get the materials. And in, and in, and in those two weeks, I, I changed my mind that I wasn't going to build this house. And when the customer rang me and go, well, I, I'm in Hawaii having a holiday. I'm living my life. I'm, having, I'm, I'm away. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not going to come back and build your house because I've changed my mind. I, I, I guess, in a way, it's, it's an interesting one. That, you know, the, the, the trust of me or when we give trust unto someone else. I, I, I come to learn that with trust comes that element of observation we have we, we, we have to observe elements and work with those elements along the way so i'm just going back to my little screen here and um and it's rachel hello rachel Hi. and and julie and uh yes julie and in this is that how you say that in in this I, I, i'm just i'm a bit you know words of myself are kind of quite complicated things I have to really look at them slowly so yes th this element uh, so I, I've come to learn that we, we cannot do without trust we have to give a measure of trust you know to, it's, it's very hard when someone's trust is abused and then how do we trust another person I guess I've never I've never really had a problem with that myself um, I, I, I've, I've never lost faith in people because there are there are good people, there are wonderful people, and and, and we all know. Uh, but on the other hand, there are there are people that I guess in a way that abuse trust. W whatever is right or wrong within this element, um, it's things that I started to think about this morning, and so I, I guess for myself, what I've come to learn to do is. Um, I've not lost my trust. I'm, I don't know that I had trust in myself growing up, but I guess as I've grown up, and it's the latter part of my life, I've learned to trust me more. Uh, I've learned to connect to me more. I've learned to nurture me. Um, you know, we all, we all have an element of challenges to deal with. At some point um, so there's, there's an element of things we're learning to overcome or to get through uh, but I've learned to trust me I've not lost my trust in other people um, I've learned that I need to observe more observation is a wonderful thing uh, and to me I, I kind of messaged someone today with the daily blog that 
you know, my trust goes hand in hand with observation. And, and the observation is not an easy one either. Because it's, uh, because life can be very, very busy. You know, life, life is quite fun on at times and we don't always have time to observe. But observation is a wonderful thing. It's a bit like a, it's every action creates a reaction within life. Um, so the, there needs to be an element of observation of reactions. If, if I keep painting the same picture and that same painting doesn't create an effect in a positive way, because you see, to paint a picture, if it does nothing, that is an effect. That is an action of a reaction. So my, re my action is to paint it, the reaction is it does nothing. So I, I need to observe that. So if that painting does nothing, that's not why I've painted it. I, I've painted it to actually create a reaction. And, and so, you know, to me, that is the same thing with myself. That is the same thing with everyone. We're all here creating actions of reactions uh, within life and bringing that about. Um, the card is a, is a green card. Uh, so it carries the vibration or the energy. Uh, green is a um, ca green is an interesting one because there are a lot of people that don't gel or, or resonate with the color green. It can carry an element of this, of superstition as well because some people see it as a bad luck color. But in front of me, there's a big window and it looks like over a garden. So I kind of relate the green. Personally, for me, my favorite colors are blues and greens. And I guess if I mix them to colour, they create a bit of a turquoise. So that's kind of my, my colours that I, I, I love. Um, but green is, is something that is, uh, people that know me, I have a bright green van. And it brings those elements into play. So, hi Lee, nice to see you there. And uh, so it brings those elements into play. So, you know, just the green in itself is, because it sits in the middle of the spectrum of colour, it's a, it's a balancing energy. It separates the warm colours from the cool colours. So it's a bit of a pivot point. Uh, and that's why it's a balancing colour within the spectrum. It can represent a number of things. You know, it's a heart chakra. Gosh, when we get into the heart space and work with that, uh, that's another interesting one as well in itself. And it, and it brings those aspects into play. Um, it represents new growth as well. You know, it's, it's the, it's the colour of growth. It's the colour of nature. You know, nature, we, we hear the term that, that nature is a balancing energy. That's why a lot of people love to walk. They'll walk within nature. They'll go and sit by the sea. You know, they'll, they'll sit on a cliff top. Because when we actually get involved in, when we actually get into nature, we do a lot of inward thinking. It's a little bit like tidying our desk up and bringing those aspects into play. Anna, uh, you just... Uh, yeah, observation is, is a great one, Anna. Um, and challenging the mindset. My goodness me, see, that's an interesting term, the mindset. Because we, it's something we all have. It's, 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 it's an healthy thing to have a mindset. Part of the mindset gets us up in the morning and tells us when it's time to go to bed. It's a really good thing to have. But, and, and mindsets are really, they can work so wonderful for us. But... You know, when, when the mindset doesn't work as it should, then it's time to change that mindset uh, or to be aware of those aspects coming into play. So, you know, we can get it. There's so many facets when we get into a daily card that carries the aspect. So I, I just wanted to share the element of trust uh, because it's a really, really big word. Uh, but I feel it sits beside observation. Um, and trust is such a, it's a huge one. I don't feel we can lose our trust because by, but it does happen. It does, you know, sometimes we can be really let down. Uh, we, could, we could lose everything uh, within an element of where we've trusted. Um, and it carries, you know, when trust is broken, it creates so much pain and hurt. 
my goodness me, doesn't it? It, it goes deep. Uh, but the thing is, I, I guess for a lot of, a lot of things, we, we have a period of healing. And, and when you learn to trust you, because, you know, sometimes when life goes wrong, I kind of say to people, it's like, life beats us up when it goes wrong. And then we beat ourselves up trying to understand life. Um, and that's perfect. To some extent, that's, it's a very natural thing to do. We tear ourselves apart trying to understand. And a lot of time, I don't always know there's answers. I, I kind of tell myself, or I live by the rule, that my answers sit in front of me. I have to live my life to find answers or understanding to my past. But we're, there's so much life for everyone. And, and part of the message is that, you know, to, to trust yourself in trusting others, to trust yourself in handing over that element of trust, to be in one's power. Because if, if, we, if we can learn to trust ourselves, because it's a, very, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very healing thing, it's an empowering thing, and it also radiates part of your energy. Um, and that element of carrying one forwards and through. I guess it's always an interesting one of how much do we talk about. Uh, and maybe one day, you know, we could, um, I mean, it's something I want to get more involved in doing this. I want to take the camera out on my motorbike. And, you know, I want to, I'm based in Cornwall. Um, the weather today, gosh, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning, the, the, where I live in Cornwall, it was like a sheet of ice. I had to, I had to get to help my brother. And, and I pulled the van out and I literally, it just, it was just black ice. Um, so I guess maybe for a month or so, the trips on the bike are going to be limited, plus with our current situation. Um, but yes, it's, it's kind of like... Um, Embracing technology, getting more out there, working more with these things. Um, but I wanted to share the day card of trust. And maybe that element, maybe for oneself to have an element of what, you know, from yourself, the, the element of just an awareness. You know, if it meant trusting yourself more, where would that lead you? You know, for me to trust myself more. Uh, I, I guess if I was to answer that and what it means, I think it would probably mean doing what I'm doing now. For me to take myself forward, possibly to stand up in front of people more, um, to paint more, which is something I want to do. I want, I want, to, I want to share more on how to create, how to take paint, and throw it around and create a painting and those elements coming into play um, but that word trust it's a it's a it's a it's a beautiful word um, but it can be shattered as well and it can leave a person broken or shattered into a thousand pieces so therefore that healing process of putting those pieces back together and trusting in you, that self-connection of who and what you are. So I guess in a way that I've, I kind of said to myself before I would start this, even though we had a bit of a blip with technology and, and, it, and it just froze, I thought, oh my goodness me, um, that I was going to come on for about 30 minutes and just share that daily card. So it's kind of like, it has kind of reached that point. Joanna, how are you? And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going to finish it there for today. As you know, on a previous video that I put out, which you'll see on my thread, there is the opportunity to um, win a limited edition. Uh, the limited editions will be on canvas and it's open to anyone. And whoever wins will have a choice of which picture they would like. And they're, they're so big, the pictures and have a choice of that. So it will be signed, certificate, boxed up, and sent to you, whoever's looking. So if you want to enter that, please scroll down and, um, and follow that through. 
and um, and we will see what the next topic is. It probably will. It probably maybe another week's time we will start to to do something else and work with that. But hello, Dean. Thank you very much. And Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Um, nice to see you all. It's kind of like if I read more. It's it's one of these things learning what to do between reading your messages. Um, and 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 not taking the concentration away. Um, it's something that Shelley. Hi Shelley, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you all for, for coming in and listening to me kind of talking. Um, I guess in a way it's, it's about sharing a little bit of who we are. Um, the cards each day do provoke me uh, and provoke my thoughts and feelings. And I guess for every daily blog there's something there that I try to take for me. Uh, I, I guess another thing is like... Um, you know, to trust or to trust in others. I was going to touch on karma, actually, um, because that's another interesting thing. You know, I believe in past lives. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't get involved in past lives because I, I leave that for the past life people, regression and those things. But I, I do believe in past lives and, um, and, I, and I do believe they can have obviously bring through elements that we have to deal with in this lifetime. I do sometimes question my life and my pathway. My, my life has not turned out how I thought it would be. Um, no, not at all as it turned out how I thought it would be. Nothing like it. Um, and that's probably for many people in that way. But the elements of, hi Carol, and um, Jackie, thank you, Jackie. And um, but the word karma is another one that intrigues me. Um, I guess in a way, I mean, if I go back twenty-seven years where I had no belief, uh, I, I, you know, I feel I was a pretty good living person, but I, I didn't have a belief to follow. I didn't have a knowing. I didn't have a faith. Since moving forwards and working more on a spiritual level, I, I, it's kind of like um, my actions, and, and I have to be responsible for my actions. Uh, and part of that is also the, the, us dealing with trust, to trust in myself and where I come from with that. So it's kind of like it's led me into dealing with things in the right way. And it's not always an easy thing to do. Many years ago, I have regrets in my life because, uh, you know, I look at certain challenges to my past and I look back and, and maybe this is something we all do. But it's kind of like I thought, gosh, Patrick, you never dealt with that very well. I, I, I didn't have no more tools to deal with it any differently. Uh, but I, I hopefully I've learned a certain aspect and, and I deal with life a little bit different so I kind of like I still come through trying to deal with life in a very fair way with my challenges I undertake my responsibility or my commitment within certain things that doesn't mean that again that life doesn't change and it goes back to the element of you know dealing with changes ones we we love and ones we're finding quite hard to deal with so these aspects come into play so it's food for thought basically and you know it's kind of like um yeah i'm just reading some of some of the messages here and um yeah but it's it's, it's life is not an easy journey and, and i guess you know we're not we're not all strong in the same way where I may fall, another person will carry on with ease. Um, and, and part of it is the wonder of it, because we're not the same. You know, we, we're all dealing with things in a slightly different way, but maybe a similar way. But there's food for thought. So the word trust is coming in. I'm not going to keep rambling. I've kind of exhausted it. And, um, and I just want to provoke thoughts or feelings on these aspects. And, and how and try not to allow broken trust of the past to prevent one from moving forwards in the future. 
to carry yourself forwards and onwards. And I just want to say thank you, Sam. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, and who, God knows what the next subject will be about. It's kind of random. And um, But we're going to come to a close now. Now, you all have a good weekend. Bless you all. And, uh, and thank you again. You all take care. Lots of love. Thank you.